What's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm Brother. Today's question, I'm going to turn this into a series uh, just because if I don't, I think the video is going to be really, really long. So the question came from Abner Nazario. He left this question uh, in the comment section on the gripper workout that I put up here recently on YouTube. So check that out. Um, but he wants to know if I could highlight some of the grip feats that I'm most proud of. And uh, thank you, Abner, for that kind of question. Um, I think I'll do a top five. So I made a list of the top five feats, and I'll, I'll start with number five and go up to number one. So it's like a countdown. So number five, I said, was closing, or rather certifying on, the Mash Monster 3 and 4 grippers. Now, why? I hate grippers. Why am I so proud of the Mash Monster 3 and 4? Well, the reason is because it took me like 10 attempts over the course of 10 years or so in order to certify on the number 3, the Mash Monster 3 gripper. Now, the Mash Monster grippers are through gripboard.com. These are totally different from... Iron Mine Grippers, okay? But the, the cool thing about this series of grippers is that everybody closes the exact same grippers. So Mash Monster 3 guys have all closed the Mash Monster 3, and it's the same exact gripper. So I think the first time I tried to close this was in 2004 or 2005. I don't think I was successful in closing it until 2014 or 2015. So it took me 10 separate attempts to do it. And then I think uh, after I certified on it, I was able to certify on the Mash Monster 4 the first time that I tried it. So that's, I guess it's it's something where it just shows it, it pays to keep on trying, right? It's uh, misses are just warm-ups. And yeah, it took me a while, but the problem was, guys, my training was... My technique was just bad. My training wasn't great either, but my technique, there was actually a flaw in my technique that I did not even realize. Paul Knight was able to point that out to me when I worked with him in a coaching relationship, and that made a huge difference for me. So the other thing was instead of focusing on repetitions in my gripper training, I started focusing on just the end range of the grippers. So my technique and training methods were subpar. I was able to correct those and it made a big difference. So out of all the feats I've done, I'm listing number five as certifying on the Mash Monster 3 and then the Mash Monster 4 gripper shortly after that. So look for more on this series. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you can hear the rest of them. Share it with your friends. And any questions you'd like to see covered here on the channel, leave them in the comment section below. All the best in your training. Take care.